Hello and welcome to Typical Tuesdays with Tia. My name is, well, look at this. I, I really got fixed up because I'm snowed in. Aren't you? Are you snowed in? I'm thinking everyone is snowed in right now. Um, and I'm just going to be honest. I don't do well when I'm confined somewhere. If I choose to stay home, that's one thing. But if I can't go anywhere, it starts to wear on me after about 12 hours. Seriously. Like, it's been... Last time we left the house was Sunday noonish when we came back from church. So, yeah, it's now Tuesday at 3.30, and here we are. I've been here at the house. If you can hear noise in the background, that's Brandon. He's on a conference call in the living room, so I'm now I'm even more confined to this room. This is my bedroom, so hey, Michelle. Um, but anyway, I just thought, hey, it's typical Tuesday, even though this is um, not so typical that we're having an ice storm. And like, I heard like 72% of the country has snow right now. Is that legit? That's crazy. That's a lot of snow. Um, I know where they don't have snow. And that is in Florida, because I was just there on Friday. And it was beautiful. And it was warm. And the sun was shining. And it was glorious. Um, but unfortunately, here in Nashville, we've got about an inch, inch and a half of ice, and then about an inch, inch and a half of snow, at least where I'm at. There's parts of us that have more, because Nashville was sort of right on the line. So if you're a little farther north, you got more snow. A little farther south or kind of east, you didn't get quite as much snow. But the ice is here. The ice is legitimate. There's ice everywhere. So that's what's happening. It's, um... Yeah, that. Hey guys, there's everybody popping in there. Yeah, I did. We had a very safe tr trip uh, back from, from Florida, so that was great. But back into this hot mess express of the snow and ice and grossness. So, um, hi, Northern Wales. Is it cold there too? It's really cold here. I think it's 12 degrees. Um, Anyway, my, I have a question here. Yeah, right, I know. Bruce said, you're home in Missouri. I know, right? So where I'm from in Missouri, it's like in the negatives there. So it's really, really cold there. So I guess I can't complain that much. But still yet, the fact of just being confined, I'm not good at that. I'm not good at being confined where you literally can't leave the house because there's so much um, ice everywhere. You can't get out. You can't go anywhere. And even if you could go somewhere, everywhere is closed. I even saw like where the restaurants around here are all closed. Uh, the Chick-fil-A is closed. Like all these places have been putting up on their Facebook pages that they're closed and so all the social media stuff. So even if I could go anywhere, there would be nowhere to go. So here we all are. So what do you do? What Can you help me recommend some ideas uh, for what I should do uh, in the meantime while I sit here? I did put on some self-tanner. Can you tell that? Like, I feel like I look really orange <laughs> in this light that I'm sitting in right now. But I, that helps me when it's really cold and gross. I'm like, if I put self-tanner on, it feels like summer. It's stupid, but it works for me. Okay, that's all I'm saying. That It, it works for me. Um, what else have I done? Nothing. Literally nothing. I've eaten crackers and animal crackers and microwave pizza and uh that's pretty much what i've done i've eaten yesterday i ate and napped all day long that's horrible it's about it's a bad habit to get into you can do that for about one day but after that it's like okay um but yeah i've not done much of anything today just kind of been laying low um obviously we've been watching the birds uh, we have a ton and ton and ton of birds out on our deck um we have cardinals and all these little finches these little red ones and yellow ones and brown ones and they all come around and we've had male and female cardinals we've had woodpeckers we've had everything in there today so that's been entertaining it's kept the cats entertained anyway um i've been thinking about and i guess i should do that today maybe maybe that's what i'll do this evening um, I don't know if you guys follow me on Facebook and on Instagram, but, um, you know, they have this little stories, um, on your Facebook and on your Instagram stories. So I had seen a few people that I know had been doing some, uh, they call them Instagram cl closet clean out sales. So I have a few stage clothes, stage items that I've just had for a long time that I'm getting rid of. 
that I thought I might do like a closet clean out and like a portion of the proceeds would go to a charity of some sort. I'm still trying to kind of figure all that out. Anyway, because I've never done it before. So um, anyway, I'm thinking about maybe getting my closet clean out stuff ready. And this is my closet right here. So um, I've got dresses, mainly dresses. I think maybe all dresses that I'm getting rid of. Um, and some of them are, some of them are like new and still have the tags on them that I never have actually worn. Some of them I've worn on TV stuff. You may have seen, um, I know the Wednesday night prayer meeting dress is in there. Um, the Merle Haggard dress is in there from the Merle Haggard, uh, country Stanley reunion. Um, what other one? Oh, there's a couple of them that I wore on Larry's country diner. Those are in there. So anyway, I'm getting rid of them, but I don't know, what do you, do you guys think that's a good idea? Have you done that before? I just need your input. So put in the comments if you've done that kind of stuff or if it's something you'd be interested in seeing. I'm gonna put it out there and let y'all figure it out. And what doesn't sell, we'll give to Goodwill. It'll be fine. Um, I just need to make room in my closet for some new stuff because that stuff's been in there for a long time and it's time to revamp and renew and all those things because I feel like this year I'm I'm really in a mode of like revamping, uh, renewing, re recharging, kind of like starting all over kind of a thing. So that's that's kind of my that's kind of my whatever. What's the word I'm looking for? <laughs> I've been here too long. I can't even think. I can't even think. <sighs> this snow. And this ice. I mean, is it driving you crazy? I see that you guys are making your suggestions on here that I should write. Oh, and someone just had some buttered saltines. Okay, so Ed, I have been in a saltine like mood lately and I've just been eating saltines like crazy. I love saltine crackers, just plain saltines. I don't even do buttered. I just eat them plain. I love them. They're so good. Um, and, and, and Ed suggested selling them at a consignment store. I've never done a consignment store either. I don't really know the, the how that is doing. Like, I don't even know how you would do that. I guess you just go and you take them and they take care of it. I don't know. I haven't done that before. <clears throat> um, I haven't written any songs the last couple of days. I, I've had a few ideas that I've jotted down, but haven't really sat down and, and felt fully uh, inspired to, you know, sit down and really write something big. So... Uh, but I've been writing down some ideas. So Bruce said that they're having rolling blackouts. I, I've heard of a lot of folks that are doing the rolling blackouts uh, to save the energy and the, for the power company. Yeah, so like they, they turn off your power for like an hour or so just to kind of conserve energy, which is crazy. But I did see on the suggestions because it said if you're having rolling blackouts that you should turn your heat down to like 68. Our heat's always on 68. Like, we like it to be cool in here. I like it to be cool in here. Brandon freezes. Brandon's probably got two blankets on sitting on the couch in there doing his conference call and I'm in a sleepless shirt, but I'm always warm. <laughs> but we always keep it 68 at our house. So that's pretty, that's pretty common. Uh, Charlotte does puzzles in the winter. Brandon does a lot of puzzles. I'm not a master of a puzzler. I, I'm not like this up here. It's just, I don't, I don't have the patience for a puzzle. I don't have the patience for a lot of things. If you know me well, you know that that's true. Uh, but yeah. And, um, Charlotte, she said, I also do more crocheting. So if I want more doilies to let her know, she sent me some beautiful doilies. Uh, thank you, Charlotte. I've got those. Um, okay, I'm reading. Sorry, I'm going back. <laughs> I'm going backwards. Valinda said she only had rain where she's at in Arizona, but she's confined to home with COVID-19. Oh, boo. Well, I hope you feel better very, very soon. Because um, I know that's no fun either. This... Between that and the ice and snow and all the things going on, I feel like we're all just like locked in. Maybe this is a sign that we're supposed to be inside and thinking and getting out of the craziness of the world. I don't know. Um, <clears throat> yeah, see, Rhonda said, your house must be warm. My husband is in two layers and we live in Southern California. No, our house is 68. I just always wear this, but I promise Brandon is in two layers. He's got probably flannel pants on and a long sleeve shirt and a blanket and everything. So I get it. Tim said board games with Brandon. No, 
No, no, no, no, no. We might play a card game, but definitely, probably not. I don't even know if we have any board games here. I don't think we do. Um, 10 inches of snow in Indiana. They're freezing in the Texas panhandle. I'm telling y'all, it's cold everywhere. Isn't that weird? I did. I heard that earlier, though. That was like 72% of the United States has snow or is iced over or whatever. So I just think that's wild. Um, Bruce said, how about an online auction? You could do your talks and auction. Oh, you mean like do it live? I wonder if there's like a service you can use to do that because I would not know how to, to maintain the auction stuff. Like if people are popping up, like how would you know who had the, like the bid or whatever? Like that would be confusing. But if there's a way I could do it, I'll, I'll look into that because that, that makes sense. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Um, Robin said they're in Alabama, snow and ice, dressed in winter PJs. See, it's my. This is my winter PJ. Like these, I, I, I'm in, I'm in a sleeveless shirt unless absolutely necessary that I have to put on a shirt. Are you really coming in here right now? Are you gonna be on this? There's Brandon. <laughs> Are you done with work? Well, I just want to change clothes, but no, I don't think I'm going to. I would. I told you I was doing way. this. I told well, you. I, I thought I'd sneak in here, but I think he's going to have the camera just facing right It's live, so. folks. We live. We live. It's happening. Anyway. You just taking over the bedroom. I told you. You took over the rest of the house, so I took over in here. This is, this is us. Right? Um, yeah. Auction Tuesday with Tia. Yeah, I... I don't know about the auction thing. That would, I'll have to look in to see if there's some thing that can do that, that can make that make sense. Because I surely don't want to get it wrong and just call the wrong person's name or whatever. You know, I don't know. I'm not an auctioneer. I am no, I am no Leroy Van Dyke over here, okay? Um, <laughs> wow, yeah. See, you guys are all, Don just said that he had a two-hour blackout today. Those, we haven't had any of those here yet, so I'm, I'm hoping that we can keep our power on. Um, but yeah, <laughs> Steve said Brandon now does voiceover work. He should. He just pops in his head and does an advertisement every now and then. I know. Anyway, well, I won't stay on long. I just wanted to check in because technically I do live chats uh, every Tuesday, but I figured everybody was, you know, sitting at home with nothing else to do like I was, and I needed your help on how to stay sane because it's I mean it can it's crazy I don't I, I am just learning more and more that it's not you know I don't mind being a homebody but I don't like being a forced homebody I can stay home it's fine but I gotta if mm, I'm one of those I mean I make I, I leave the house daily I like to get out and even if it's just to like drive into town and go to Panera I mean I haven't had Panera now in like five days because there was no Panera in Florida nearby where I was and yeah so no Timothy Brandon hasn't gotten any new hats <laughs> but we're working on it I promise I've like made that joke now public and so it's like Brandon's gonna get new hats we're making it we just haven't been anywhere to go shopping because I was gone all weekend and then the snow and all this so we haven't been anywhere since I since last Tuesday I don't think we've been anywhere we could go shopping so we'll work on that but thank you guys for watching I know this was kind of a short, weird little thing, but um, I appreciate you being here. Please uh, share, like, subscribe on this page. Um, if you will subscribe to my page and ring that little bell and let people know uh, about my page, if you will share it. Maybe don't share this particular video because this is pretty lame, let's be honest. <laughs> but some of my music videos, and if you haven't seen those yet, we have two new uh, couch covers that are up. Um, I did one on Valentine's week. That was um, Feels Like Home, which is one of my favorite songs and has been one of my favorite songs forever. So I was really excited. I had never ever performed it or done it before. So Ben and I worked it up and did that. Um, but that's out there. That's the one I would like you to share. If you're going to share one, share my couch covers Feels Like Home video. Tell everybody you know about it. Share it on all your social media sites. Let them know and tell them to come subscribe on YouTube for more because we've got more coming probably this week. I'll have another one that comes out on Friday. So anyway, um, thank you for watching and uh, I will talk to y'all soon. Stay warm, stay safe, don't get out if you don't have to, all that stuff. But hopefully the sun will come shining through and this will all be over soon and summer cannot get here fast enough. Anyway, I'll talk to y'all later. Have a great rest of your week. Bye.